A defining event in Dee's life occurred in November of 1582. While praying, Dee had a vision that the light from the west window of his laboratory shone brightly and revealed the angel Uriel, rendering him speechless. Uriel smiled and gave him a piece of convex crystal and instructed him to use this crystal to communicate with the beings of another world. If he gazed into this crystal, these beings would appear and show him the mysteries of the future. In his work with the crystal, Dee hired an assistant named Edward Kelly, a mysterious man rumored to have had his ears cut off after being convicted of counterfeiting coins. Kelly saw seven entities he called Madini, Gabriel, Uriel, Nalvich, Il, Morvorgrin, and Dubonlides. He believed these beings to be angels, and they offered occult instructions on how to make the elixir of life, spells, incantations, and how to ask the entities for advice. They were also said to have given Kelly a secret language called Enochian. This language was the same Sumerian-type language that the Watchers spoke in the garden, which was believed to have been corrupted into Hebrew after Adam was banished. He predicted scientific technologies far ahead of his time, like the telescope, solar power, lasers, the speed of light, and multiple dimensions. Dee and Kelly continued to use techniques, including meditation, to contact otherworldly entities and acquire technology that would change the course of human history including the science behind cutting-edge navigation and cartography tools that would eventually advance the discovery of the New World. Dee believed these entities were angelic, but Kelly grew afraid and came to consider them demonic. Dee led a long life of magic and advising. He was a scholar and scribe who counseled many nobles in addition to the Queen. His Enochian magic established rituals that were later revived by the magical Hermetic Order of the Golden Dawn, with some being adapted by Anton LaVey and the Church of Satan. Without laboring the point further, I would direct you to the work of my dear friend, Dr.